One pretty crucial element of gameplay animation is to export and import animations and that back and forth between your animation software and the actual engine. Now today we're going to be seeing how to do just this in between Motion Builder and Unreal Engine 4. Welcome back everyone, my name is Matt, let's export some animations shall we? Alright, so in, in this video, I'm assuming you already have a character ready in Unreal Engine waiting to receive some animations. If you want to know how to do this, I've covered this in a previous video and I'm gonna link it right here. So I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be exporting this run cycle, which is gonna be the very first animation I'm gonna want to see on my character in Unreal Engine to start building uh, my locomotion system. The thing is, it's uh, it's moving forward. So the first thing I had to do, I did it uh, offline, and it was to transform the animation so that it's on spot because I didn't want to use the root motion of Unreal Engine. I've also covered how to transform an animation moving forward onto an animation on spot, and I'm gonna link the video right here. But the easiest way in Motion Builder to export only the animations and to not worry about the, the characters is to go to File and Motion File Export. Now it's gonna ask for, for a name, so I've already created one. And then you're gonna have this new window. Uh, you have, you have a, a bunch of options here. I'm gonna be exporting one animation only, so I'm gonna just deselect all the text and check the one I want, but let's just say you wanted to export more at once. It is possible and it's actually very easy and very conveniently handled here. So let's just say I want to export these three. There's a, a, a cool way here. If you check on one tech profile, uh, you can also have the add prefix on file name if you want. I usually don't use that. And over here, you are able to give uh, dedicated names, so let's just say, I don't know, if it was a walk cycle, then a, a trot and a run. And then if you click export, you're gonna have three different FBXs, and then Unreal Engine, uh, during import, will recognize them as individual animations. So it's very convenient, and in one click, one export, you can actually export many animations at once. So keep this in mind. In our case, we just want one, so I'm only gonna check this, and I don't need that option. Export, yes, because mine already exists. And now in Unreal Engine, I already have my uh, character set up, waiting to get some new data. Once again here, I'm gonna be creating a dedicated folder for animations to keep things organized. And then here I'm gonna be able to import my animation so once again you can either right click and import or just drag and drop your animations or your fbx file from your uh, hard drive now the i think it's the only one but it's the crucial option is to pick the skeleton so if you've been working on a character of your own and it's already ready in unreal engine then your skeleton will be available in the list and you need to make sure you select this skeleton so that the animation are properly imported onto this exact skeleton and the rest you don't have to worry about. Click import. So we have one asset and as you can see our character is running as it should. Now let me uh, quickly show you the result if we were to export multiple animations. Motion file export, I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, let's, it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be creating multiple files anyway. And, sorry, one tech profile, one, two, three. And let's just say, uh, this for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna leave these names, I don't want the prefix. Export, okay. And then in Unreal, I'm gonna close that. Let's delete the animations and then import and see you have three different FBXs that you can or let's just 
be crazy and explore all four. Same thing, make sure you pick the, the skeleton. And then once you're okay with all the options, click on import all, otherwise the window is gonna pop up every single time. And you have all four animations. And that's it, now you're gonna be able to start building your own blueprint. If you want to start using and creating your own blueprints, I really encourage you to have a look at my introduction to Unreal Engine blueprints that I'm gonna be linking right here. Having a custom character ready, waiting in Unreal Engine, and now knowing how to export and import your own animations, you have all the tools you need to start exploring, experimenting, and then start building your own prototypes, your own systems, and generally speaking, to start working on gameplay animations. If you're curious about Motion Builder, take a look at this, and if you want to go a little bit deeper in Unreal Engine, take a look at that. I will see you there in a moment. Take care of yourself, have fun, bye-bye.